And then I will pass the turn. To me! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, viewer, and welcome to the Back of the Binder, a show where we do the best we can with the worst we have. I'm Chris. I'm Reese. And we are just two of the friendly faces from Nerds of the West. <gasps> so, Reese, what's it going to be this week? All right. Chris. Just, hang on, just before we start, I'd just like yeah. to say I really love your deck protectors, dude. They are fantastic. Thanks, good, man. good choice of colour. They look eerily similar to yours. <laughs> eerily? <laughs> eerily? <laughs> eerily? <laughs> eerily? <laughs> All right, so the deck I have today, Chris. It's called Clueless. Okay. Do you want to know why? Is it because you didn't know what you were doing when you built your deck? Because it revolves around fucking clues. Oh, I Look like at all these it. clues. Clues. Get a clue, Chris. Goodness. I have not seen these since Standard a long time ago. Yeah. So let's just say I have a certain thing that revolves around clues. So you're essentially the Scooby-Doo deck. Yeah, 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 pretty much. Okay. I would have gotten away for it too if it wasn't for you meddling magic players. Um, what are you doing? I am playing a deck called Emrakor. What? Which is a, a take on an old archetype. Do you need a moment? I'm a sh don't, don't tell me you have an Emrakul in your deck. <laughs> Why would I call the deck Emrakul <laughs> and not have Emrakul in it? This upsets me deeply because I <laughs> wanted to put an Emrakul in this, but I was like, <laughs> oh, it's too expensive. Hey, most of my budget went to the Emrakul. Every other card in this deck. I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, well, it looks like I win this round of who gets to have the big shiny creature in their deck. Uh, well, I just got to hope that my substitutes... A good <laughs> substitute. <laughs> well, good luck anyway. Anyway, yep, uh, all right. Have let's, fun. Try to have fun. Let's roll to figure out who goes first. Five. Oh, Fourteen. Yep, cool. Desire, of course. I have the good card and the good roll. You've cut me deep. All right. I will not forget this betrayal. <laughs> Top ten anime betrayals. All right, I'm quite happy to keep this hand. I, oh, I will also keep this hand. Okay, let's jump straight into it. I'll begin turn one yep. with a Needle Spires Ooh, oh, and throw oh. half my hand on the floor. So Hold it's, on, it's wait a, a second. <laughs> That's not a gain life land. It's a man land. Uh, I can add red or white with it, and I can also pay four, and it becomes a 2-1 double striking creature until the end of the turn. Chris, all right, a little, little behind the <laughs> scenes, right? When we, we buy our decks, right, we, we spend the money on them. My limit <laughs> is generally... 40 to 50 bucks. <laughs> That's a generous limit. Yeah, it, it works. <laughs> yeah, sure. I, I will say, I picked four of these up for a steal, actually. Okay. Three bucks a piece. Okay. Well, you know what? Going forward, my decks will probably be a little more expensive now. I'm becoming too comfortable that buying is more understandable. expensive cards. understandable. <laughs> After I have set the limit, like, quite high, I wouldn't, I wouldn't <laughs> doubt that you would. All right, pass the turn to All you. right, cool. Um... Did you draw a card? No. Ah. You've thrown me off. <laughs> forest turn. Oh, just a crappy forest, eh? No, no $3 lands for you. Don't, don't do that. Let's continue that trend with a Battlefield Forge. Okay, yeah. Which I already own, so That's it doesn't fine. count. They're, they're not super expensive <laughs> anymore anyway. It's fine. Uh, and I will pay red and colourless to cast Tormenting Voice. Pitching a planes, planes to draw yep. two extra cards. Easy. And pass the turn to Checks you. Checks out. Draw a card. Alright. I'm gonna play an island. Tap two. Daring Sleuth. Two one. When you sacrifice a clue, transform Daring Ooh, Sleuth. Into a two a three two, it, it says it on the front there. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Cool. Untap. Draw a card. Yeah, he's not sticking around. <laughs> planes. I leave him. <laughs> leave him. Uh, I'll I'll pass the turn. Inconspicuously. Draw. I will. Island. Sure, you can have your island. Combat. Yeah. <gasps> Swing for two. Ow! Uh, no blocks. Yeah, no blocks. Cool. Sorry, I should have. That's all right. <laughs> Uh, confront the unknown. Uh, investigate, then target creature gets plus one, plus one e until end of turn for each clue you control. Nice. So create a clue. Okay, so I'm down to 17 instead. Yep. Nicely done, dude. There we go. Combat tricks. Um, 
one turn. Uh, at the end of your turn, I'll do two things. Firstly, I will cast Thrill of Possibility. That's a better tormenting voice. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'll pitch another planes to draw two cards. Are you just digging for Emrakul? <laughs> is that all the deck is? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot confirm nor deny. Uh, also, I will cycle cast out. <laughs> all right, my all right. turn. Yeah, cool. Untap. <laughs> draw. <laughs> Um, let's go with another Needle Spires, and I'll cast a Boros Locket, which is a three mana, mana rock, uh, huh. and it can also draw me two cards if I pay the hefty mana cost. Interesting. Uh, end step. <laughs> Tap two, sacrifice a clue, draw a card. I see, look, drawing cards is super fun. Uh, and then Daring Sleuth will transform into Bearer of Overwhelming Truths. No. Uh, it has prowess, uh, and whenever it deals combat damage to a player, it investigates. Nice. Okay, I am thoroughly in the Draw. poop. Yes, yes you are. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare to be pooped. All right. Combat. Got it. Swing for three. Down to 14. Cool. Created a clue. <laughs> Ten. All right, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Got a whole lot of nothing. I will play a planes. Um, colorless. I will play another Boros Locket. And for four mana, I will cast Cast Out oh. uh, to exile your bearer of overwhelming truths until Cast Out leaves the battlefield. Um, furthermore, it will untransform, so I've undone all of your hard work. Resolves. <laughs> and I'll pass the turn to you. Uh, end step? Sure. Sacrifice. Draw. Untap. <laughs> draw. I mean... <laughs> It's not bad. <laughs> I just don't need it yet. Your Jimmy's right. rustled yet? Yeah, they are, actually. Tamio's journal. At the beginning of your upkeep, investigate. Uh, and then tap, sacrifice three clues, search your library for a card, and put that card into your hand. Then shuffle your library. Yo, I so, need to pick me up one of them for my commander deck. Yeah, so you sacrifice three clues, and it's essentially a tutor. Yeah. So, yeah. Nice. Uh, but that's my turn, oh, so Tamio. tapped out as well, so go for gold. Oh, Pull out Emrakul, see if I care. I am probably not even halfway to Emrakul <laughs> at the moment. Emrakul, Emrakul's at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I would not, would not doubt it. Um, well, you know what? <laughs> I might actually just start pecking him with Needle Spires. Oh, no. So I'll play a Mountain. Yep. I'll pay three for Boros Locket. Um, red, red, white, white, animate needle spires, uh, and I will swing in for four damage. <laughs> with double strike. Down to 16. And with that, Yugi boy, I will pass the turn to you. All right, I'll draw for turn. Oh, and I'm tap. <laughs> he's thrown off. Oh. He knows Emrakul's coming. I'm tilted, man. I know he's... <laughs> so I'm staring down the barrel of the gun. <laughs> okay, I'm going to play a forest. Oh, yeah. Tap two. Daring Sleuth. You thought you could get rid of him, huh? I oh, I've got upkeep. Get a clue. Oh, you really are, friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Turn. Good. Because I can't good. do much else. Where's my boy? Where is he? Planes. Um... I'm just going to crack this Boris Locket for two cards. Sure. And... I will... I could swing in with Needle Spires. But I think I'm going to hold up another Locket and pass the turn. Oh. <laughs> uh, End step. Mm-hmm. Sacrifice a clue, draw a card. You got it. Uh, I'll make transforms as well, because I sacrificed a clue. True, yeah. Uh, 
right, upkeep, get that clue back, draw for turn. So many extra steps when you've... <laughs> <laughs> when you're trying to get a clue. Yeah. I was going right. to say, a lot of your decks tend to be very mechanically synergistic. I could cast this card. But I know you've got an Emrakul. Okay. What, what could it be that playing Emrakul was, would have any different outcome than taking an extra turn and annihilating you? No, it's fine. It's fine. You'll find out, all right? Okay. So, in that case... <laughs> combat? Cool. Swing for three. I will flash in, cast out, and target your bear <sighs> of overwhelming truths. How is it the red white deck is more defensive than the blue? Right. It's that prison archetype and or not having any creatures in your deck. <laughs> Are you happy? I'm not happy. No. <laughs> I'm turn. Okay. Woo. Untap. Draw. Oh, I'm gonna Ooh. get needles. I'm gonna get hit by the needle spires. It's not needle spires. <laughs> Okay. I think this is the beginning of the end for you, Reese. Okay. I will enchant you with Curse of Exhaustion, mm -hmm. which is enchant player. Uh, the enchanted player can't cast more than one spell per turn. So would you like that on your side? Or I'll just put it that way. Secondarily. Uh, in response, I'm going to oh, yeah, yeah. crack the clue mm -hmm. to draw a card. Yep, resolves. I'll pay... Red, red, anything, anything, anything for Possibility Storm. Whenever a player casts a spell from his or her hand, that player exiles it, then they exile cards from the top of their library until they hit a card that shares a card type. No! <laughs> then they can cast the, the fresh card without paying its mana cost. So basically it transforms everything into something else. It chaos warps pretty much any spell. The problem here, Reese. would you like to say it or would you like me to rub it in? Oh, go on. You can't cast more than one spell each turn, <sighs> so if you were even to cast one spell, it would be exiled by Possibility Storm and you couldn't play the one that you reveal. So you cannot, that... play, you cannot play spells for the rest <sighs> of the game. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Get memed, bro. <laughs> I'm not sure if this makes me a Johnny or a Spike, but I. <laughs> <laughs> so I just scoop. You can always choose to scoop. <laughs> Do you give me the pleasure of scooping? That's the question. <laughs> uh, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> So you thought Emrakul was the biggest, oh, the biggest. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> I did it. I'm locked out of my deck. I, there's no, there what are, can I do? There's literally nothing you can do with that two card combo. It's <laughs> nasty, isn't it, dude? Holy crap! You best so believe the fucking <laughs> all four of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll go and straighten the sideboard. I'm not even. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, viewer, for attending that first match. Uh, we will head straight into sideboarding and we'll, we'll see what develops. <laughs> okay, long story short, my deck is perfect and there's absolutely nothing that needs to change. So I have no sideboarding plan in place. Reese, on the other hand, take it away. Look, Chris, I'm having a time. Um, <laughs> one, one small flaw. Gonna, gonna be honest. One... Tiny little flaw with building a blue deck is I may have forgotten to put counter spells in here. <laughs> so, next best thing, Mill. So, listen, <laughs> I know he has an Emrakul, and I know what Emrakul does after having some discussion in the interim, um, but fuck it, I'm going. <laughs> what was your uh, exact reasoning for bringing the Mill in? So, I figured... If I can just mill him over and over and over again, he would just get annoyed and scoop. <laughs> you know? A possibility. Yeah. It you know, could happen. Even though um, even though Emrakul shuffles his graveyard back into his deck, 
when yeah. Embrical hits the, the graveyard. Yeah. Um, but I could draw. Roll the dice. Emrakul. <laughs> roll the dice, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm getting. Getting rid of all of this fluff. Don't don't worry about that. <laughs> okay. That's just put in the bin. Four Altar of the Brutes. Nice, nice. Which you kindly lent me. Okay. Three Fleeting Memories. So whenever I sacrifice a clue, target player puts the top three cards in from my library into the graveyard. I see. And an extra root out, so then I'm running a playset, which is destroy target artifact or enchantment. That's and actually quite good. Um... I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I'm gonna win. <laughs> you went I, really deep with the mill plan. I gotta say, if I was playing any other deck, that might actually have a chance of decking me. Uh, so let's do it for the memes. <laughs> let's do it. Don't let your memes be dreams. Reese 2020. I'm staring down a barrel of a gun. It's not. <laughs> well, good luck. In the, I wish in I had round. every goal. Cool. I didn't even pull off what this deck's supposed to do. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, that's a shame. It's not gonna happen again either. So. We'll wait and see. All right. Well, game two. Let's let's, <laughs> let's jump straight in. Uh, as I lost, I'll go first. Oakley, Oakley. I can do things. All right. Hopefully. Well, you're up first. All right. Uh, Thornwood Falls. Gain a life turn. Cool. Um, Needle Spires. Pass. Cool. Untap. Draw. Uh, island. Third wall, Illuminator. Uh, whenever you investigate for the first time each turn, investigate an additional time. Nice. 1-3 with flying. I like it. Uh, turn. Um, okay. Battlefield Forge. And pass. Okay, untap. Draw. My deck's upside down. <laughs> Probably why you lost the first match. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go Forest. Tap two. Another Erdwall Illuminator. Oh, wow. Need that investigate, bro. Yeah, man. All right. Uh, swing for one. No blocks. No blocks. So he's got trickery. Yep. Confront the unknown. Oh, investigate. Goodness. With, with two. Yeah, three clues for one. Wow. Nicely done, dude. So that is uh, four, four damage, because it gets a plus one, plus one for each clue I control. I see. Nice. So down to 16. Yeah. Holy crap. That Maybe was... I'll just steamroll you with... with... I was going to say, like, <laughs> forget Mill. That was that was very effective. All Couple right. more of those and I'm dead. Uh, your turn. Untap. Let's go with a planes into a Boros Locket. My favourite. And I will just do it now. Cycle, cast out. Okay. Pass the turn. Right, untap. Draw. Very interesting. Island. So I'm going to cast Thoughtcast, which has affinity for artifacts. Cool. Uh, since I have three, uh, this will cost three less. So it's just going to cost me a blue and a colourless to draw two cards. I like four cards. I think it's the only card with affinity that actually sees play in affinity archetypes. Mm. All right, combat. Sure. Swing with both. No blocks. It happens again. <laughs> Down to, I believe... Uh, Holy crap. So that's a 7-4 seven, seven, and a 1-3. So that's 8. I, <laughs> dude, maybe the mill sideboard plan was to psych me out <laughs> so that when you delivered the final blow, it would hurt even more and you would get revenge. <laughs> get punched with these clues, Holy man. Holy crap, that was very well played. Dude. Uh, your turn. Oh, my golly gosh. Well... I have a plan, and it begins with Fumigate. Oh, to destroy all, all creatures. creatures. And I gain one life for each creature destroyed this way. So I'm back up to ten, and I've managed to stabilise against those guys. Yeah. Okay. I've got nothing else going for me, though. So It's anyone's Hunter. game. Draw. That's a lot of clues. 
Get a clue, bro. Oh, you're so funny. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play an island. Uh, I'm going to thought cast for a single blue. Nice. <laughs> Draw two cards. Oh, sure. Wear them all through the broods, man. Tap two, Daring Sleuth. Nice. Tap two, Erdwall Illuminator. <laughs> I figure if I can keep creatures out, yeah. I can just peck keep, at you, keep right? Keep pecking in. Uh, turn. In fact, one more of those combat tricks, and I think that is honestly it. <sighs> I can hope. I can hope. You know, I, I just have to put up whatever defence I can. So I'm going deep with... I will keep Needle Spires untapped. Um, assemble the Legion, which is my favourite magic card. OK, interesting. At the beginning of my upkeep, I get a muster counter on it, and then I make a 1-1 soldier for each of those muster counters. OK. Pass the turn. Thornwood Falls. Yup. Tap three. Root out. Destroy target artifact or well enchantment. Done. And, and then I investigate. So I twice. Double. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, I am then going to spend two mana to sack a clue, draw a card, transform Daring Sleuth. Nice. I'm not on a higher life total, that's for sure. Uh, I will then go to combat. And swing for four. No blocks. No blocks. And I get a clue off of him. Down to six life. No worries. Just so you know, I'm on eight clues. Okay. That, I was going to say, you have more clues than basically any other permanent type. All right. Turn. Unzap. Draw. Not going, not going too good at the moment. Um, I will cast Possibility Storm and say, good luck hitting exactly what you want because my shields are down and it's your turn. Okay. Now you get to play with the brand new card thingy. Brand new card thingy? That's the scientific term. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> yep, no worries. <laughs> All right, let's... Let's give it a go, right? All right. Let's see what I can storm into. Oh, God. Tap two. Erdwall Illuminator. Ah, but it's not an Erdwall Illuminator. It is, in fact... A Daring Sleuth. No. Oh. And that goes to the bottom? Yeah, yeah, in a random order, if that matters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in that case, I will... Else I can do. Um, oh man, spin the wheel. It's so so much fun. <laughs> no, I, I don't have the mana. Um, <laughs> combat? Yeah. Swing four. four. All right, no blocks. No worries. Yeah, I create good. two clues. Oh, I got a turn left. Turn. Okay. Come on, sweet baby. That is absolutely the worst card. <laughs> The worst card I could have drawn. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm not going to lie, I saw what that was. <laughs> we all knew what it was. Oh, you spin the wheel, man. <laughs> I wish I could cast it. <laughs> Sacrificing Boros Locket. <laughs> to draw, draw two, two cards. I will cast... an artefact of some description. To look for an artefact? It is, in fact... <laughs> hey, you cast what you wanted, man. Hey, yeah, I'm actually impressed that I hit exactly Boros Locket <laughs> off that. Although I, there aren't many artifacts in this deck, so that's the best I got. Your turn. All right, end step. I'm going to sacrifice two clues <laughs> to draw two cards. Transforming Daring Sleuth. Untap. Uh, look, I'm usually about the flair and the theatrics, but I'm just going to kill you straight away. Much appreciated. <laughs> Die. Thank Die. You. No, die, no. you evil man. I'm gone. I'm gone. You got me. 
All right, one one. <laughs> game three. Let's do this. I am looking forward to it. All right. So game three. Memes are over. Everything's on the line. We're playing for sheep stations. Uh, I'm taking out three Altar of the Broods. Rightly so. Yep. Yeah. And replace... Now, you may be wondering why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm replacing it with a Quicksilver gar Gargantuan, Giant Adiphage, and a Woodfall Primus. Now, the mana cost through the roof. Not going to lie. I have a feeling I'm going to see Possibility Storm again, and I'm going to play around the fact that I'm going to see Possibility Storm again. That is thinking. Yeah. With your noggin. If I spin you into any one of those boys, that's it. I will yeah. pretty much pack it up. Also considering uh, there's already one of each in the deck. Okay. so Not, not to reveal is. the secrets, but yeah. Cool. I like the choices too. Um, I'm taking out some slow soldier token producers for some quick soldier token producers. My game plan is basically to block and block and block and just fire off and recall as fast as I can. So... <sighs> Without much further ado, it's a race for the big boys. Race for the big boys. Let's jump into game three. I'm going to keep. Six and seven. Okay, sweet. Wonderful. I'll keep as well. Let's cool. lead with a planes. Pass the turn. Draw for turn. I will go <coughs> an island. Pass the turn. This is serious now. This is for all the beans. <laughs> all right. I will cast Squadron Hawk, which is actually a creature. When it enters the battlefield, I can search my deck for up to three cards named Squadron Hawk and put them directly into my hand. Spoiler is this the help alert. Possibility Storm? Squadron Hawk is the only creature in my entire deck yep. except for Emrakul the Aeon's Torn. So uh, it makes sense. It, You're playing around together. Possibility Storm. <laughs> really? <laughs> No one just puts that card in their deck for funsies. <laughs> and I will pass the turn. Chris, it's as if you're actually building your deck for, for play. And that's where Emra Core comes from, the title of my deck. Okay, Forest. I have to discard a card, actually. Um, tap two, Erdwall Illuminator. Okay. A 1 3 with flying. Oh, yeah? yeah. Well, I don't like that, so. Turn. So take it. In fact. I'm so unthrilled with your Erdwall Illuminator. I will cast Flame Slash to deal four damage to it. Oh, yep, checks out. Then I'll move to combat. Peck you for one. Down to 19. Second main phase, I'll go with a Planes and a Squadron Hawk, and I will shuffle my library but fail to find. <laughs> Pass. Making sure that... Uh... Emrakul's not at the top. Pretty much. <laughs> uh, I'm going to... Tap two for a Daring Sleuth. Yeah. <laughs> and... Turn. Untap. Draw. Mountain. I will main phase... Thrill of Possibility. Discarding Cast Out. Mm-hmm. To draw two cards, and I will fly over for two damage. Down to 17. Over to you, friendo. Untap. Draw. It's really intense now. You can feel the tension in the air. Tap for Briarbridge Patrol. Uh, whenever it deals combat, uh, whenever it deals damage to one or more creatures, investigate. At the beginning of your end step, if you sacrifice three or more clues this turn, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. Oh, okay. I see where this is going. <laughs> this is the original strategy of the deck. Big boy, giant <laughs> Adaphage. And I believe I saw the Persist one, whatever he's called. Uh, the Woodfall Primus. Woodfall Primus. Yep. Okie lady okay. Okay. Um, swing for two. Take two. I'm going to 18. Turn. Oh, now this is a game of magic. <laughs> now, now we have a game of magic. Yeah. All right. I came here to do one thing and one thing only. I'm casting possibilities. No! And I will pass the turn with no attacks. Okay. <laughs> Spin the wheel, Reese. What will it be? What will it be? Draw for turn. Don't want you in my hand. <laughs> uh, 
Spinning the wheel. Daring sleuth. But he underwent an eldritch uh, transformation and instead became... A Briarbridge Patrol. Oh, that's um, much scarier, but, <laughs> but not too bad. And that goes to the bottom as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tap two, Jace's scrutiny. Hit an instant. Instant, okay. Not uh, not many instants in there, right? Oh no! <laughs> there it goes. I'm starting to think that that may. Ah, uh, there, oh, there we go. Uh, okay. Confront the unknown on. Yeah, the the one that's been in yeah. play. Plus one, plus one, and the clue. Do you want me to shuffle or just chuck them to the bottom? Uh, the cards say shuffle, Reese. That's what you got to do now. I wouldn't make you in, in a proper game. <laughs> it's all right. All right. So I investigate. Gotcha. That's now a 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> <laughs> no problemo. As long as I have Squadron Hawk to body block me, I'm pretty much good. All right. Um... Sweet. Double block. No worries. Uh, dealing damage to your squadron hawk gets me a clue. He dies. Indeed, Arena. Um, that goes there. I'm seeing Emrakul next to <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, turn. I have been sitting here patiently waiting for you to finish so that I can finally <laughs> crush you with magic's Cast strongest Emrakul. card. Needle Spires. I will then spend two mana to play my fourth and final Squadron Hawk. No. Which, the Don't possibility, Storm transforms. And remembering a few turns ago when I ripped all four copies of it out of my deck, you'll now be under the impression, uh, mostly because I told you, but also, <laughs> I'm gonna basically flip through the entire thing. There is not a single creature card in this deck except Emrakul, which is why it works so splendidly with possibility Storm. So as soon as I find it, and I'm going to try and keep talking in the meantime to keep everybody entertained. Not in the deck. I bet you it's oh, directly you... at there. <laughs> I would have laughed if you were like... Sideboard it out. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I get to cast my Emrakul the Owns tour. Now, Reese, there, there's a little, a little uh, housekeeping I have to do. Yeah, no worries. Possibility Storm says um, that I may cast the card without paying its mana cost. Yes. Now... Emrakul, Emrakul the Ounce Torn says that when it's cast, I take an extra turn after yes, this one. Yes, because that, you have cast it. It does indeed work the way you think it yep. does. That's fine. I understand. I'm very... Uh, <laughs> Your magic fluent. Uh, Annihilator 6. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> you how to you. Um, and I see no reason not to cast my Boros Locket and spin it into something else. Spin it into another locket? Probably. You know, I would not be surprised if it did. <laughs> this is just an awful lot of solitaire. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Um, then I will pass the turn. To me! Oh, no! <laughs> All right, buddy. Prepare your bum. All right, move to combat. Yep, and you can pass combat, it's fine. Don't need to worry about it. Needle Spires, animate. Oh. Swing. Annihilator six. Please, would you sacrifice six permanents? One, two. Yeah. <laughs> I did there, it! There is no point to blocking. No. Because I, uh, you'll leave me with... All right, let's 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 play it out, <laughs> right? All right, oh, bless so you, sweetheart. if I block... <laughs> if I... If I block, they're going to die anyway. If I don't block, I'm dead. I scoop. Yeah, I'm not yeah, giving you yeah. the satisfaction. Oh, wonderful. It worked exactly <sighs> like I planned. Good game, dude. Are you impressed? i got to say, second game, you actually came out with, uh, with huge ferocity and I could not keep up. You I, actually stood a chance. I just want to show people how the deck's supposed to work, right? <laughs> Before I ruin it. <laughs> so... Briar Bridge Patrol and Tamiyo's Journal work together, right? So you sacrifice three clues, search for Woodfall Primus, Quicksilver Gargantuan, fucking, mm. you know, big creature. 
Because you've sacrificed three clues, triggers by a patrol. So then at the end of your turn, you can be like, I search for Woodfall Primus. Yeah, boom. Woodfall Primus hits the battlefield. Nice. That's how the deck's supposed to work. It never got there. No, no. And furthermore, I almost helped you do it with Possibility Storm. Yeah. It, it still didn't happen. No. Nah. I really want to see this deck again. Uh, this has some reworking to do. So, counter spells. Counter spells. <laughs> Did you know in Magic there's this thing called counter spells? Because apparently I did. <laughs> I got, yeah. I, I really want you to... I know I say this about everyone who decks like machines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I really want to see that in a different matchup. And yeah. for you to pull off that combo, it just feels so oh. good. Take it from me, pulling off the one combo that you built in your deck feels so oh, good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why I build decks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's, let's, let's wrap send it, up. it out. Thank you so much, viewer, for watching this episode of Bank of the Binder. If you enjoy what Reese and I do... Check out the channel. There's a few other episodes of Magic the Gathering content, Back of the Binder episodes, and other board game goodies for your enjoyment. Yes. Also, check us out on Twitch. We stream nearly every day at this point, so you'll see at least one of us during the week. Um, ring a ling the ding a ling, and make sure you get updates to everything that comes out on the channel. Uh, leave us comments on deck ideas and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, if you have an idea for a deck, uh, anything, a card that you might have found at the back of your binder, let us know and we'd be more than happy to, to play it on the show. Yeah. Uh, other than that, I've been Reese. I've been Chris. And we'll see you next time. Bye.